Probably the biggest challenge for parents is they don't know what to do. So they're confronted with, I've got a Bible that's that thick that I want to teach my kids, and I don't know where to begin. The reason why I wrote a family devotional that covered the Bible is because I didn't know what I was going to do myself. And I just thought, what can I do? And where do I begin? And then I began to look at the scriptures and try to figure out which ones are most important and how can we communicate the gospel. And so what started out as my own family devotions turned into what we now call Long Story Short. The Old Testament can seem a little scary and we can want to protect our kids from those scary moments. It's kind of hard to cut out the judgment of God without also missing all of the grace. And it's when you see those stories in light of the grace that you recognize, you know what, God isn't the problem here. Our sin is the problem. And God was the one who repeatedly said, again and again after Israel complained, I'm gonna remain with you. I'm gonna give you another chance. That's what life's all about for kids. How many times did they disobey us? They can see their own selves in the pictures of the Old Testament. And they can see the hope that God gave Israel that even though they were unfaithful, he would remain faithful. Jesus is in the pages of every story. So that when David, for instance, comes out to fight Goliath, when Abraham is about to sacrifice his son, and there's a ram caught in the thicket, Jesus is pictured there. Isaac didn't need to be killed that day because one day, a son, the son of God, would be sacrificed. But you could miss that in the story if you don't realize that there's significance to the substitute of that lamb. So once they've got a devotional book like Long Story Short in front of them, the next thing is trying to get their kids who've never done this before all to comply and get them together. But what I've found is once you gather everybody together, they like it. And they realize getting together as a family for 10 minutes, not 45, is okay. From there on, the challenge is consistency. Can I just stick with it? If you put the book next to where you sit, where you eat, or next to where you're going to sit down as a family, it will remind you itself. And if you can only get about a week or 10 days in a row, your kids will remind you too. It's never too late to get your family on the right track. If you can pick out, as we do in Long Story Short, passages that will connect the whole storyline of redemption, but do it in a concise and manageable way, well, that's the framework for a year and a half of family devotions. The Bible describes the gospel as incomparable riches. What Long Story Short does is it helps you to transmit that most amazing treasure incomparable worth to your kids.